Hello from Phuket. Today we're off to the amazing Elephant Hills in Koh Sok National Park. Friday morning, uh, we woke up at six o'clock and we have got three days, two nights, and it happens to be my birthday weekend, up at Kosok National Park. Uh, we've heard amazing things about it, and we're gonna be staying at Elephant Hills for the next three days. Um, we, can't, we honestly can't wait, so let's go. You've got a travel cap on. Huh? Bought this and I've literally only worn it while traveling from place to place. Because? It won't fit in a bag. Yeah. Money well spent. It was bored because side middle part in burning of the head. But no, nope, just travelling days. Um here we're at the bus. It's just us at the moment. And we're picking four more people up and then we're heading straight up for our three and a half, four hour drive to Cal Sock National Park. Apparently we're not travelling anymore, the, the hat's left the head. It looks ridiculous. Um, picking more people up now. Oh, we going to be best friends. We will force them they've got to hats. be our they've friends. They've got hats, they've got hats. With a safari tent with our free elephant canned. Look, it looks more like a rhinoceros, admittedly. We've got one night in this tent in the jungle. Um, I don't know, the jungle camp, and then we go down for our second night and we're floating on the Kosok. The Kosok. What have you found? Have you ever seen a tent with a kettle? Yes, this tent. And my tent on the Isle of Wight had kettles. Very posh on the Isle of Wight. This, I've got to, I'm going to go outside because there's a hammock, so we're going to go and have a little lie down on a hammock. Look at oh, the bathroom. The bathroom's amazing. The bathroom. We've got chests, we've got a fire extinguisher in a tent. How much is a drink? We've got, our, we've got a torch, wi Wi Fi in a tent. Laundry, if we need laundry. Here we go, we've got a, these are the light switches. Now, this is the light switch. He's an elephant. Look at that. And I've got elephant shorts. You have, which are being hidden. I can't wear elephant shorts and elephant. I'm gonna. I don't know whether it's allowed. I'm going to. Yeah, I'll let you because you're so excited. Can you film me getting in a hammock, please? I want to be in a hammock. And so we're, we're here for half an hour, then apparently Gong's gonna go off for lunch. We're gonna go for lunch, Thai style buffet. Then we're gonna be sailing down the river and a canoe experience to go and meet some elephants. In elephant shorts. She's going to be bitten by mosquitoes if she puts her elephant shorts on. She's going to regret her life choices. I'm going in the hammock! You just can't get it. I don't think the pictures are going to do any of this. This that I can see just the cow sock hills behind us are just jutting. They're so high. It's, it's like Avatar meets Jurassic Park behind us. Uh, the tent's amazing for tonight and um, yeah. We're going to go and meet some elephants very shortly, but first of all, I'm going to attempt to get into a hammock. This is probably not the wisest thing to do. Well, this is me for the next half an hour. Goodbye.
slowly he's working, we're not, we're having a most relaxing time just kayaking down um, the Sock River. We see frogs in trees, snakes in trees, fish. We have a lovely piece of town. Not even broke out of the sweat. And what does cow suck mean? Sock means nothing. What does cow mean? Mountain. I've learned. You everything. were listening. I was listening. Sock uh, means nothing. It did originally mean, it was originally cow sob. Sob, um, named after a plant they found at the top of the mountain, which is huge. And when he dies, he smells like a dead man. So sob means dead body. And they realised people weren't going to come to a place that was called dead body. So they changed it to sock, which means nothing. And it's so peaceful. Hashtag well. Fun fact. Fun fact, yeah. I don't think it was even fun. It was just a fact on it. Oh, these hills. We go down the river and then we go to go and play play, bay, feet and elephants. Just at the Elephant Hills base camp. Um, not base camp, well, just Elephant Hills, the Elephant Sanctuary. It's the Elephant Cafe, says in the background apparently. Don't know where I am, but there's elephants and we're here. We're gonna go and feed them. Elephant Hills camp. Uh, we've been feeding and watching them bath. There's no riding, there's nothing. These are old working elephants that have come to live and well, there's a sanctuary really where they get looked after by some wonderful Thai men who dedicate their lives. They don't go home unless it's real or low season but there's one one boat to every elephant. They're just looked after, they're cared for, they're treated respect, then they're all ridden. We've not been able to we've been able to pack their trunks and touch them, but you can't get on the back of them. But they're covered in horse flies everywhere. But they're magnificent animals and the you this camera doesn't do it justice, but the rocks behind the scenery is just amazing. And they look the rocks look a little bit like elephants in the background as well, which is quite nice to see. takes the food. Boy, there's fish circling waiting, they know what time it is. Um, you need a place to feed the fish here. Or well, donate to feed the fish here. So if you come up, donate and just send the food down the chute. It's about a 200 metre chute. It's huge. Uh, but the fish will be thankful for it. 
the views up here are so good. We're going to catch a long tail boat now and go from this side. I think we go about 20k up and then we're into the rainforest jungle camp, which is a floating tent on the Coast Sock Lake itself, which is 60k from top to bottom. It's huge. my birthday and we're at Kosok National Park. We're in a tent on a lake in one of the oldest rainforests in the world. And this place, you just need to come here. If you're in the south of Thailand, so they run tours from uh, Phuket, from Krabi, from Sunatani, from Koh Lak, I think from Koh Samui, but sort of anywhere down in that south region, get on a tour and come here. If you can do Elephant Hills, book Elephant Hills. The elephant experience is amazing. To wake up on this lake, to go for a swim in the lake first thing in the morning without a life jacket on. Um, you meant to have a life jacket on. I forgot, I forgot it was first thing in the morning. But the sounds of the birds to wake up to, the monkeys, the chance to see a wild elephant. I mean, it's just such a nice way to wake up. <laughs> Maybe not such a nice way to wake up. But. Why did you put it onto me when you were talking about the wild animals? <laughs> so, sat here looking like I'm wearing a toga. We were picked up Friday morning and driven up to Elephant Hills where we were fed a, an amazing lunch. The food, how good's the food been here? It's just been, we've just eaten buffets three times a day and Thai, snacks in between. Thai buffets with amazing Thai food and the old westernised thing thrown in, so Thai green curry and potato wedges. What more could you want? Um, but the food's been amazing. Um, there's a bar open. I guess it's not the cheapest bar. However, we did find Sang Som last night for 80 baht, whereas Chang's 190, so we went for some rum instead. But the food's been so good here. And then the experiences around that, everything has been meticulously planned. We've got, went to see the elephants after a canoe ride. We had a lovely night with Thai entertainment. Then we got picked up and taken to the lake. Now the lake is part of one of the oldest rainforests in the world. And it's beautiful. The lake sort of semi-man-made, but it was a disaster when it was first done because it flooded villages. It's a bit like chase water, but on a larger scale. It's about 60, 60 kilometres long and it flooded all these lights of so the limestone, those really famous limestone hills you see. Oh, they've got a fly very pesky. It's a wasp. Oh, it's a wasp. Who knew? Well, at least knew. I didn't. Um, I'm battling it off. Look at Bobby. 
<laughs> but the, the very famous limestone ridge hills that you see in Harlong Bay um, around Krabi, they're from tectonic plates pushed up. There's no volcanoes here. Um, but the lake flooded and created more hills and now lots of separate islands throughout the lake. And there's animals that just move around, elephants, huge white oxen, um, very pesky wasps. Um, so we arrived at the lake, got fed, got moved into our tent, which is amazing for accommodation on a tent. Then we went on a hike, went up through the rainforest into, I didn't realise we were going into Jeez. a cave. Have you stung you? No. Huh? No, I just sat on there. Just, just sat on, on foot. <laughs> just sat on her foot. She reacted like she'd been stung. <laughs> She's, oh God. A, she's got a phobia Sorry. now, anything flying I think, that's the problem, she's been bitten that many times. And then we went up, up through the jungle, and our guide was amazing, pointing out lots of things that we, I don't know how they see them, they was, oh, the lizard there, how have you found that? Otter. Otter, otters in the, like two miles away, she went, oh there's an otter over there, I think, I think people were going ahead and placing them. Anyway, we went into this cave. There were huge huntsman spiders, and I'm not exaggerating. These massive crickets, snakes, and then the display of bats. Mm. Bats flooded, it was amazing, but well worth doing if you haven't got any insect fears, <laughs> spider fears, or bat fears. It was about a two and a half hour walk, it was a nice trek. Came back here to roasted peanuts. And then we got morning relaxing, and then we're going to go kayaking around the area, and I can't wait. Kosok National Park. It should be on your bucket list. If it's not on your bucket list, it should be on your bucket list. Pop it on. There you go, from the words of an expert. <laughs> Pop it on. <laughs>